be good mothers or not. Uh, one of the good things in Islam, and I, and I said it before, is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praying on time and then doing well by parents. The second best thing that a Muslim can do is doing well by parents. And we know something that is called uquq al walidain which anyone should avoid at any cost, which is you're not doing well by your parents, that's a very big sin and a big loss. But there's also uquq al abna meaning that you're not doing well by your sons and daughters. What's the definition of that? A woman that is not a good Muslim, that does not have a good reputation, that might have a, a, a deviated behavior, and just for her looks or whatever circumstances, you just get married to her. And now you force your son from her or daughter from her to have a mother with that bad reputation, with that bad mannerism, and by that you belittle and took and devastated the rights of your own son and daughter upon you when you chose that mother to be the, their mother, that woman to be their mother. Uh, just uh, This is such a vast topic, so I'm just closing a few uh, important points, the do's and don'ts in the last two minutes that we have. You said outside influence, it should be limited to who? Like, you know, the wife, should she be going back to, the mo to, to her mother, the, 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 the son going here, and then, you know, the whole community coming in and giving their opinion, what they think is right, but actually making it worse. Who should they go to? Who should they not go to to make this work? It's up, the responsibility of marriage is the responsibility of the man and the woman, the husband and wife. They are allowed, and as a matter of fact, they are persuaded and encouraged to go seek advice. But give the advice about the specifics of your house, common advice. Do not tell the secrets of your household to people who are close by so they can influence and make a, a small problem a bigger problem. Seek knowledge from people you do not know. Read, ask a sheikh, ask a scholar without even stating your name. And find out what is the right thing to do about that situation, what to do with your husband. Do not get people, even the closest people to you, get involved with that much details. You are responsible, they're not. You're the one who's going to carry the burden and the responsibility. If it works or not, they're not. And I don't know any mother that compensated a good wife for a good husband. I don't know any father who compensated a good son for his good wife. It never happened, and it will never happen. And at the end of the day, you're the one to blame. You carry the responsibility, so take care of your own problem. So, so, so your, your beloved uh, uh, sibling or your mother can actually, at the end, do more harm than good? Many cases that happened. Yeah. Many cases that happened. Even though they love you, they have good intention. And, and, and I, I have this final example, uh, a mother that actually, the, her son-in-law, who was uh, a laborer, who was not a professional, works about 12 hours a day, and he had the courtesy to invite her to live with him and his kids. And the man worked like a mule all day to provide for the family, and he would kill himself to provide for everything of them. Whenever they get invited to some of the relatives, who are professionals, who have better careers and better jobs, that her daughter, his wife, does not qualify to that life because she's not that educated either, she would make sure that she tell, oh, I feel sorry for you. Look at the cars they have, the houses they have, the furniture they have. Why you accept that? And she kept belittling the man so much that the woman said, I have to get a divorce. My life is being wasted. Now she's on food stamps. And her mother just left her to live with her own other son. Wow. Good intention. Maybe the mother thought that she's doing a good thing, but, you know, again, who is carrying the... The, 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 the blame and the responsibility and the burden at the end of the day, it's you. It's you. So turn it back to Allah and His Messenger. Live life according to Allah's will, not your desires. Consult with physicians, scholars in Islam, and try to live... And not because you love me. As a friend or a mother or anything. You know, my mother loved me more like anything in the world. But when I had a need of surgery, I would not go to her. I would go to a, a surgeon. Yeah. Uh, when, you know, somebody, your brother who's a great one and he's a mechanic, uh, you have a, a low matter, you're not going to take him to represent you in court. <laughs> yeah. Even though nobody loves you like him. Same thing. My mother or my father love me the most, but they're not the expertise. And they don't have the wherewithal. Ask a scholar, know the guidelines of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the more you abide by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will draw protection and blessing from Him, inshallah. And this is more important probably than even a heart surgery, yes. family business. Yes, the whole life, the whole quality of your yeah. life. One, one, one final quote I heard, be his servant and he'll be your slave. Have you heard this? Yes, and it's true. And it's true. And it's true. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, people can visit you at theliesaboutmuhammad.com. Yes. You're the author of the book. Yes. And you have uh, your own website. Yeah, we made a website for the book, theliesaboutmuhammad.com itself, where we have our blog and, uh, and, and, and uh, media, uh, inshallah, about the, 
the whole issue. Thank you very much. Thank you. Allah Allah you too. Allah thank you. And thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Dean Show, keeping the family together. 